Okay, guys. So now, in last class, uh, we are discussing about X paths. Uh, let's continue that topic. So let me open my Chrome browser. Okay. My John dot in website and navigate. Oh, I'm on mute. Okay, okay. Okay. So I have taken this web element X path. I have taken this web element and I want to write X path for this web element. Guys, are you able to hear my voice now? Hello? Yes. Oh. So I want to write X path for this web element. I have taken, I want to write X path for best sellers. So I want to write. So in the last class, we have already discussed double slash. Tag name is anchor tag. And within the square brackets, we can take attribute or value combination. Or if you taking the text, then we have to write text of is equal to this one. Text of is equal to. So like this, we can write the X path and how to check this X path one of one it is showing correctly or not control C. Go to here. And here you can do control F and control V. See it is showing one of two. That means it is not the exact X path. So one, two. So there are two times it is displaying. So now I want to apply indexing. How to apply the indexing part? Whenever it is showing indexing, whenever you want to write indexing, you need to keep the parentheses for the whole one. And within the square brackets, you have to mention first one. And second one is So let me, so now the second one I'm taking control C. Control V. Best I think first one is the correct one. Okay. Okay, right. So this is the one. So indexing one is the actual X path for this web element. Guys, anybody is having any doubt identifying the X path for this. So first I have written X path. After that, it is showing one of two. So I applied indexing technique. So the first one is the exact X path of that web element. Okay, let me let me write second one. I want to write X path for electronics here. Okay. Right click and click on inspect. Click on inspect. See here, this is got highlighted. Okay. Uh, okay, right. Okay, let me copy this element.
Guys, can anybody tell me how to write the XPath for this? That's silent. Mm -hmm. Double slash anchor tag. Square bracket begin. Square bracket sends. And I can take this one. So here space also there. So take the space also. Copy. Text of is equal to So this is the XPath. Now let me copy this XPath one of one it is coming or not. Control C. Control V. So it is showing correctly. Exact one. Electronics got highlighted. Okay. All right. So now I want to write the same web element XPath differently. So here what I'm doing is contains, contains of text of is equal to I'm removing text of comma electronics. I don't want to check with the F spaces. So in the whole word, if it contains electronics, I want to identify that one. So I want to irrespective of spaces, I want to identify based on the word. Okay, so I have written same XPath like this by using contains text. Seeds so got identified, electronics got identified. Okay. So if you observe this one, If you observe this one, all these anchor tags under this under the division ID navigation X shop. So I want to write X path for this web element. Okay. So how to write X path for this web element for division ID is equal to navigation X shop. So let me control C double slash division at the rate ID is equal to See, you are able to understand. So guys, uh, how to write XPath, we understood, right? Double slash tag name at the rate ID is equal to this one. Okay. So this way, this is the parent web element and all below items, we can call it as a child, child items. Suppose I want to traverse first child. So you can write double slash child colon colon so I want to traverse the tag name is anchor tag, anchor tag. So there are 32 web elements are there. Okay. So A of 1, A of 1, A of 2. Okay. It's navigated. Right. So let me keep the whole parenthesis. A of 1, A of Right. Quick, let me tell, let me show it in the notepad. So this is the division ID web element X path. From this division current web element, I want to traverse to its child web elements. So what I'm writing double slash child colon colon and whichever tag name I want to write, I'm traversing. So total one of how many tags are showing for this XPath? How many tags it is showing for this XPath? 32. 32, right. So total 32 are there. Suppose if I want to identify the first one, what I need to tell? We need to apply indexing. So how to apply the indexing part I told you? So just we have to keep the parenthesis. Uh, 
answer answers and you can write indexing technique one second so this is first web element and this is second web element so like this you can apply the indexing okay let me tell let me go and check verify right so the second one is amazon mini tv okay so amazon mini tv x path we can write like this or double slash a text of is equal to amazon mini tv like that also we can write so this concept we can call it as a traversing or x path access techniques traversing from current web element to child web element so this technique uh, we can call it as a traversing how to traverse from one web element to another web element so like this so now we understood if you know the parent we know how to traverse to child but if you know the child how to traverse to its parent that concept also we can discuss now okay i am going to tell you that point okay i know the child web element x path child web element x path is mobiles i want to write for x path for mobiles okay let me write x path for mobiles double slash a text of is equal to mobiles this is child web element x path i want to know what is its parent web element x path the parent web element x path just now we had seen it's a division tag so to traverse to its parent we need to write double slash parent colon colon what is the tag name of its parent division that's it guys okay so so now i traversed from child to parent see i traverse to child to parent see here division id navigation x shop this web element got highlighted here okay one second right so guys anybody is having any doubts in parent and child traversing of the web elements okay so now we understood how to traverse from parent to child and child to parent we understood so now we need to understand following and following siblings okay let me tell you so following means from the current web element to all bottom elements all bottom elements we can call it as a following okay following means it is not within the same level of hierarchy suppose some web elements are within the same level of hierarchy some web elements are in different level of hierarchy following means irrespective of any level of hierarchies so from the current web element it's traversing like this and after that what for, for the current web element whatever is following in bottom those we can call it as a following following siblings means first web element second web element third web elements those all web elements will be report to under a parent web element okay so that we can call it as a following sibling suppose how to write the how to write the syntax part so you can write like this following so following means this is my current web element how many are following anchor tags under this web element okay let me check this one see previously we had seen 32 but this time we are able to see 414 means not only in the same level of hierarchy it is also showing different level of web elements division ids wherever anchor tags are present throughout the
scripting. So that it, it is showing like that. See, three, four of four, five of four, 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 one, four, like that. That is following. Following means like that. Following siblings means. It reports siblings means siblings means it reports same level of hierarchy. Okay. If the web elements are in the same level of hierarchy, that we can call it as a sibling. Okay. No, it does not comes under different root level. Um, if, if the web elements are in different root level, it cannot be treated as sibling. If the web elements which are report to same parent, those we can call it as a following sibling. So exact opposite point is preceding and preceding sibling. Preceding means whoever is in front of me, all the web, web elements, all the above web elements, we can call it as a preceding. Preceding siblings means all the web elements report to same parent. Same parent of level of hierarchy. That is, we can call it as a preceding sibling. Okay. So, so even the, we can write the Xbox. We can identify the Xbox for preceding and preceding sibling. Go to the last one. Ancestor. Interview is equal ancestor. Ancestor. So this part we understood. This is current web element X part. Ancestor means dictionary meaning is parents and grandparents. Okay. Identifying parents web element X parts and identifying grandparent web element X parts. So means upper level of hierarchy web elements. So identifying parent web element and its grandparents web elements like paths will be identified by using ancestor keyword. Okay. So dictionary meaning same technique will be uh, applied. Ancestor means identifying the web elements of its parent and grandparents web element X paths. So mere anchor tag it, anchor tag grand, division tag it, division tag grand, span it, span grand. So from the current web element, you are traversing to its parent or grandparents tag names wherever it's present. Span tags or division tags like that. Okay. So these are the export access techniques. So in the real time, people will use okay, writing of exports manually. Nobody will copy the XPath and they, uh, nobody will use the copy XPath technique. That will be used only when you are doing preparation. During preparation time only, writing of uh, basic programs, during that time only you have to take copy XPath. But in real time, people will use these XPath access techniques. Okay, so the first part we can call it as a current web element. Second part we can call it as a traversing. You are traversing to below elements following following siblings. You are traversing to above elements. You are you have to use preceding or preceding sibling. And if you want to know the parent and of its grandparents, you know you have to use the keyword as ancestor. Okay. And similarly, we have just now we discussed parent and child traversing from the current web element. You traverse to child web element. Okay. Whenever it is coming one of thirty two like that, simply you have to apply the travel uh, indexing technique. Whenever when more than one web element is a present, you have to apply the indexing technique. Okay, guys. So that's it on the advanced export techniques. Sir, can I able to identify a web element based on two properties? Yeah, you can. You can use and operator and at the rate name is equal to whatever name has been given. So this web element we are identifying based on ID and based on name given by developer. So with these combinations, that web element will be identified. If developer will specify ID and name, we can specify ID and name combination. Okay. Suppose if you are writing like this, 
okay navigation x shop and at the rate id is equal to okay something like this so something like this so developer had given okay developer had given sometimes your application is running your application is running in english and chinese language let us assume when application is running in english language id came like this when you are running the application in chinese language the id is coming like this we are not sure the application will run in english or chinese language so in that case if you want to write a common xpath for this you can write like this also you can write xpath or condition because we are not sure the web web elements will be loaded either of the combinations you can write so if the web element is loading based on this id it will be identified if the web element is loading in chinese language it will be identified based on this id so here we used an operator called or operator okay right if you want to locate a web element based on both properties you can write id and name combination okay the while writing xpaths you need to make sure that web element is identifying uniquely one of one then only that xpath is correct okay okay guys now i am going to tell you about one more important uh, scenario actions class this is a new topic actions class in selenium so actions class in selenium uh, when we will use actions class in selenium i am going to tell you so let me tell the scenario part so you can understand okay i have given a scenario to automate you have to click on hello sign in okay one second and i had given scenario you have to keep you have to click on hello sign in and after that you want to click on your account see under hello sign in there is a web element i want to click on your account so i want to navigate to this page this is the scenario i want to automate okay so as usual first i want to write xpath for hello sign in okay so right click and click on inspect so here hello sign in guys can anybody tell me how to write xpath for this web element okay i am copying and okay can anybody tell me how to write xpath for this web element just now we have discussed about xpaths double slash tag span, span square bracket at the rate at the rate is better or text of is better at the rate text of is equal to hello sign in this is simple na instead of taking at the rate id so we can easily understand i am clicking on which web element so i am going to click on hello sign in let me verify this xpath one of one it is coming or not control f control v so it's correctly identified okay and all hello sign in i want to inspect your account so right click and click on inspect your account this one okay let me copy this element copy copy element so same double slash tag name span text of is equal to your account so this is the one so here it is coming one of one it's got highlighted your account is web element got highlighted okay right right your account got highlighted so now we understood how to write xpaths okay so if i will so 
if I given this scenario to automate, I want to, so how do you write setup driver commands uh, generally? If I am giving this uh, scenario to automate, first you will navigate to driver dot, this application URL you will specify so that it will be navigated to this Amazon website. So it's navigated to Amazon website. After that, what you will do immediately, you will click on hello sign in dot click. So driver dot find element by xpath dot hello sign in dot click. But if you are clicking, click operation is done, it is navigating to different page. So on this web element, you should not supposed to do click operation. Just you have to keep your mouse over so they just mere mouse ni over cheyal dan meed nilabettal ante but we are actually we are not clicking on that web element under that you have some list of elements so whenever you want to handle any menu operations okay menu sub menu operations you will use actions class okay whenever you are handling mouse menu operations okay mouse menu operations you will use actions class setup driver command it will click on hello sign in dot click the next instruction it is trying to click on your account but your account web element it cannot be identified because you navigated to different places so we are not clicking on hello sign in we are so just we are keeping the mouse over how to keep the mouse over in selenium that is the point i am going to tell you so first you need to write and so this we can call it as a web element See web element hello sign in is equal to driver dot find element by x path. See driver dot find element by x path. Okay. So I'm writing like this and your account is equal to next one driver dot find element by x path. So I have created two web element object references. I have created two web element object references. So this is the first step you have to do. Whenever you want to click mouse menu operations, first you have to create a web element object references like this. And after that, this is the line actions, actions is equal to new actions of driver. So I'm telling about the actions class. So you have to create object for actions class. You have to create object for actions class. So actions class is a predefined class given by Selenium. So this we can call it as an object. So I have created an object actions actions is equal to new actions of driver actions start move to element hello sign in move to element your account. After that I am doing click build operation. So it will click on your account. So when these lines got executed, my mouse over will be stand on hello sign in. After that, it will be navigated to your account. And finally, that click operation will be performed. So whenever you want to handle any mouse menu operations, we will use actions class. So in the interviews, people will ask, how do you handle mouse menu operations? So you have to tell first, we have to create web element object references. And after that, we have to create an object. We have to create an object for actions class. Okay, and the third step is we have to write our uh, actions dot move to element of web element object, move to element of web element object, and we can write click dot build dot perform so that it will click on the desired web element. Okay, let me run this script. Okay, run as test engine test. So it's navigating to actions class. Hello, sign in your account got clicked. So hello, sign in got identified and your account got highlighted. Just a minute, guys. Hello. Okay. One second. 